A Rochester family is afraid, they say, to send their children back to school after they were told their son was assaulted by a substitute teacher. Mackenzie Mislin joins us now with more details about what happened at school number 50. Mackenzie. Yes, Teresa, according to his parents, seven-year-old Matthias Tucker was dragged across the floor and slammed into a wall yesterday at school. Now they say they're worried for their child's safety. Around 10 a.m. yesterday, Kishard Tucker and Centali Gonzalez, the parents of seven-year-old Matthias, say they received a call from the school notifying them their son had been assaulted by one of the substitute teachers. Kishard says when he arrived to school, he was told the teacher had already been sent home. He says he asked what prompted the physical contact. Even when I got to the school, I talked to the principal. There is no bad remarks about my son. Matthias's parents say they went to the school board for security footage of the incident. Matthias explains he bumped into another student before he says the teacher grabbed him. He grabbed my arm and then pulled me to the wall. And then, and then like my head and my two shoulders and my back started hurting. Because <laughs> like she banged me hard on the thing. Matthias was evaluated by the nurse, but no injuries were found. The parents aren't sure whether or not the substitute will return to school. Centali says she's nervous about her child's safety in the future. It's just frustrating, you know, because we send our kids to school to learn and have fun and interact with friends. We're not expecting them to be assaulted by a grown woman that they don't know. You know, it's frustrating and it's heartbreaking. This while Kishard is hoping it doesn't happen to someone else. How long has she been doing this to other people's children? And I don't want this to keep going for anybody else. We reached out to the Rochester Police Department and they say they're investigating the allegations of physical contact and are unable to release additional details at this time. Teresa. McKenzie, thank you. News 8 also reached out to RCSD. They responded saying, quote, the district is aware of this situation and an internal investigation is underway as this is a personal matter, they write. The district is prohibited from providing more information.